It is Thursday, January 14, and this is your English instruction for today. Our learning target reads, I can analyze an essay to find the core components found within one. So on Google Classroom, the parts of an essay revision activity has a lot of components to it. So we gotta, I'll show you how to navigate through this and what exactly we're gonna be doing. So the first one is the essay revision activity that you can pull up. And this is the main checklist that you are going to be looking at for this one. At the top of it, it goes through parts of an essay, as we've talked about thus far in the school year. So introduction, you have your hook, which is used to grab and keep the reader's attention, and a thesis statement, which is that main sentence that our entire essay depends upon. So by reading your thesis statement, I should be able to completely understand what you'll be talking about in your essay just by reading that single sentence. Also, it is you taking a stance in trying to prove something or persuade someone in some way. So yes, it is an opinionated statement, but we gotta find the best way to, of writing without using like pronouns and stuff like that. Then we have our body paragraphs. So topic sentences, these summarize what the writer will cover in the paragraph. Supporting details, all the details that support your topic sentence. And then transition sentences, these come at the end of a paragraph to allow the writer to move smoothly between paragraphs and ideas. Then finally, for conclusion, we have to restate our thesis. So take the thesis you've already written, find a way to restate it in, diff in a different language, essentially change some words around, but it's gonna keep that same meaning. And then do the same thing with your topic sentences. So summarize what your topic sentences said before, because those should all be the main points of what your body paragraphs were about in your essay. Then finally, the only part that you really have to write and create is the answer to the so what question. So why should we even care? And then how can the reader use the information that is being presented to them? That's what the so what question is answering. So on this activity, there's a couple different parts to it. And I forgot to pull up something, so I'm gonna do that right now. In class, what we did is we went through three essays. First one as a full class the second one as groups, and then the third one was individually. For online learners, I'm just gonna have you look at the one we did as a class. You don't have to fill it out as I go through it, but then you're gonna have to do the other two parts on your own. So, it, pulling up the document I used to write on in class, it's gonna look incredibly similar, but it'll have some notes on it, and I'll be sure to attach this later on. So on the parts of an essay, it says essay for revision activity. This is the one that we've clicked on and we're looking at right now, actually. So for this activity, if I look at everything put together, we're gonna be analyzing different essays. Follow along by filling out this worksheet as we break down the first essay together as a class. So you can just listen and follow along while I break this one down orally for you, and then you can do the other two on your own. So the boxes we have want us to find the introduction, body paragraphs, and conclusion of that essay that's been posted. So on this one, it's already broken them down for us. We also need to underline the hook, which is how we intrigue our reader, as well as highlight the thesis statement. So in our introduction, we understood that which medium was more successful at portraying the Great Gatsby as the hook for the essay. We know this because it is a question and questions are one of the nine hooks that we've talked about so far this year. Then if we go down, we see the sentence of, the movie encapsulates the entirety of themes, relationships, and setting in The Great Gatsby and allows the reader to be engrossed in the world F. Scott Fitzgerald created. If you don't know what encapsulates means, that means completely involves something. So the movie completely involves the entirety of the themes, relationship, and setting, and then engrossed means to be completely a part of something, to be basically sucked into. So if you're engrossed in a really good book, it means you're being sucked into that book and you can't put it down. So this sentence, if we look at our criteria for a thesis statement, it needs to summarize what the writer will be discussing in our essay and take a stance in trying to prove something or persuade. So in this sentence, we know that this essay will be trying to persuade or show to us that the movie is what encapsulates these components to show that it is better than the book, essentially. Because if we look at the sentence before, while the book is as the original piece of work, it's missing some elements in its storytelling. We can tell that the writer is going to be talking about the movie and how it is doing a better role from this thesis statement. Then, if we're trying to figure out what the full essay would be about, 
we can look at how they list themes, relationships, and settings. So those three key components right there, if we were writing a five paragraph essay, could be what each body paragraph would be about. So you'd have one paragraph analyzing the themes, one paragraph analyzing the relationships, and one paragraph analyzing the setting. So we can tell overall that this is a fairly solid thesis statement that we have before us. So now we move on to the body paragraphs. We have to highlight the topic sentences and then underline the transition sentences. So for this one, your topic sentences are introducing what you're going to be talking about in that paragraph. So one of the biggest elements that original work was missing was the scene when these individuals go to town. So we know in that paragraph they're going to be talking about that idea. In the next paragraph, the reason this is such an important change from the book is because of the connection and insight the audience gains. So we're taking that information we've already talked about, and now we're taking it one step further, essentially, in this essay. That's what this topic sentence is saying. So we know that that's what they'll be talking about in this paragraph. Then finally, on the note of importance, another big change that was put in the movie was that Nick Carraway was in a sanatorium. So we know in that last paragraph, that's specifically the idea that they'll be addressing and discussing within it. So the topic sentence is clearly outlined exactly we will be talking about within this essay. Then if we look back to our transition sentences, these are all sentences that kind of wrap up the idea we had in that paragraph and prepare us to move on to a next paragraph or next idea. So in the book, this doesn't happen and Gatsby never really breaks his gentlemanly character in such a way that this is a crucial change they made. So it's kind of wrapping up the idea they made. And that's the same thing what these other two transition sentences are doing as well. Then finally, we have our conclusion. So we copy and pasted that below, and now we have to highlight the revised thesis and underline the so what. So in our revised thesis, we have for a large number of age groups, the movie is a better version to watch at first. The book and the movie are extremely similar, but the themes in The Great Gatsby are more easily brought into life in a motion picture. So they are, as they stated up in their thesis, they talked about how they're trying to prove that the movie encapsulates these ideas and components better than the book. And in their revised thesis, we have, once again, they're really trying to focus on one of those components and summarizing how it was used. So we do have a revised thesis statement there. Then if we look at this last section, the wall people should read the book and watch the movie. So right there, they're telling us we should do both of these things. Overall, the movie did a better job in encapsulating the theme as well as showing important pieces of the character's development that weren't in the original portrayal. So right there, they are wrapping up their essay. They're telling us what we should do as an audience. We should go read and watch. But just because you should do both, this one, in their opinion, still does the job better, referring to the movie. So that's kind of the breakdown of this essay. What you're going to do now as a student is for your second and third essay. The section here is the second essay has been chosen from a list of works submitted by students. You will have to find each individual component of a formal essay within the writing. If there is a part that is missing, note that part is missing and give a brief sentence or two describing what would be written if it was present within the answer. So what you're gonna do is on the parts of an essay revision activity, there's this document here where it says essays for revision, eagles or it may say essay for revision owls so you'll open this up and this has multiple essays that seventh graders have written this year so it doesn't matter which option you choose any of them from the list is fine so go ahead and select one of these and give me a breakdown of that essay on here so try to see if you can find the individual components of just the essay that is on one of the essays that's on that document after you've done so, be sure to kind of score yourself. I forgot to walk through the scoring on this document. I'll do that in a moment. But all you're going to do is break down the essay the exact same way and then score it. So out of scoring, it's basically do they have it, yes or no, give them a point if they do, don't give them a point if they don't. From the essay we looked at as a class, they got nine out of nine items. They had everything in there. For the essay that you're going to be analyzing, they may not have those items, and that's perfectly okay. Just be sure to don't give them a point if they don't have the item. That way you can see specifically what they're missing from that essay and how you could necessarily improve it if you were to revise or help someone revise that essay. 
So there is a part three. We're not going to do that yet, though. We're going to do that the next time we are in class. So that'll be the very next video. So your goal is to finish up this part of the activity of putting together an essay and trying to map it out. When we, when I put out the next video and talk through the last part that you'll do tomorrow, most likely, um, I will also have a brief discussion referring to the components that are involved with this because there's a lot of discussion points that students wanted to talk about and I want to share those with you, but not until after you've had the time to complete this. So take one of the essays from the list, individually break it down, try to highlight, underline what you can, and then score it when you're completely finished. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always here for you. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day.